Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 366, minimum processing time. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So this one I struggled a bit just because I didn't know how to read this correctly. Um, and that's it, to be honest. Um, but because I, I think there's some assumptions here that they didn't really uh, explain in a good way about like processor and tasks and how like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that they assume you know, which maybe you should know to some degree but it's you know i think the 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 trick the tricky part here for me is that you know um you do a lot of uh, competitive programming in the past and things are not what people always assume things are um and what i mean by that is that like one of another problem is like they call it baseball and it, the game has nothing to do with baseball it's other than have innings right mm -hmm. or something like this right so like you know, you can't really assume your readers will as make the same assumptions you do. So I wish that they're more clearly. Um, I mean, I guess this note kind of helps out a little bit, but I think it was just very confusedly written. But the idea here is that now, um, this is kind of a, uh, a a matching type thing where you're trying to match whenever the processor times is ready with tasks that uh uh, that takes some time and try to match them up in a way such that it gives you the minimum amount of time when all the tasks that compete completed right um so that's basically the idea and and uh the short answer is that it's going to be greedy because basically um you're trying to minimize all the time together so um you can kind of do the exchange algorithm in a very quick way which is that okay let's say you have processor eight and you have uh and you, you know we don't have we could just ignore the four part for now and you could be if you want to you could um replace that with um uh, you know, having four processors in of the same uh, processor time instead, which I think would have been a much easier problem to read, but maybe that's, you know, intentional. But in either case, by the exchange uh, thing, you could be like, okay, well, if, if the processor 8 has to do an 8 and the 10, or the other way around, maybe, uh, if the processor 8 has, has uh, um, an 8, and the 10 has a 1, um, you know, you just exchange to see if it would have been better, right? And that's basically the idea, and that's the basic idea behind the sorting. And you could kind of sort it all that way the entire way um, with that exchange argument. And that's, and once you kind of get to it, it becomes greedy in that the longer the time, they need more time. And this kind of makes sense in a logical way. But as I always say with greedy problems, just because it makes sense doesn't mean it's proven, right? Because uh, everything makes sense until it doesn't work. And then you're like, well, it made sense, but it's the wrong answer. So, you know. Um, but yeah, but in this case, I think it's still a more intu uh, intuitive in that the longer time it takes, basically you can think about it as um, there's two components of a, of, a, uh, uh, of a thing being done. It's the processing time and the task and you add them together. And, and yeah, and the big, like if you want to balance them out, like, you know, the, the, the minimum time is when all the tasks are kind of the most balanced, just the way it is. Because if it's more unbalanced, then you just have like longer maximal, right? Uh, in, in this case, then you want to ma uh, match the longest processing time if the shortest tasks. And that's kind of the greedy thing. And that's basically the way that I have here, right? Uh, I sort this by processor time. I sort this by task in reverse order. And then I just kind of do this thing where, um, you know, I for each processor, uh, the only thing that matters is the next four um uh, tasks so then you add them together uh, or you add the max this is the time that the processor and the task would take uh, and that's how you match them and then you take the max out of all those and that's pretty much it i actually almost did binary search because i didn't really understand this problem for a while to be frank but uh but i guess in that case it would have been kind of the same complexity in other case so yeah and maybe there's still a way to do it that way but i didn't do it that way so yeah uh that's all i have for this one i mean this is clearly n log n Right, time and space. Uh, well, n log n time and o of n space because we kind of you know did some impressive things here. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest now.
say what? To do four tasks each. No, n tasks each. Okay. This is a very poorly worded problem. I can't even understand it. Okay. Why is this the case? Why is it just not like 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 5? Oh, four cores. Okay, I see. I misread. It is very hard to read part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then now you have n processors and they do you choose four tasks. I'm probably just binary search, right? But So, but is that right? How do we figure out which one to match? Do we always just want to greedily choose the other ones? I guess so, actually. So maybe, maybe I don't need to find any research. Right, greedy. I think so. Okay, wasn't sure to be honest. Had to think about that one a little bit. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, today's contest, today's explanation, everything in between. Yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take a mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>